everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red, Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day and Jennifer one of the things that that we're going to be talking about today and featuring are, are some listings from one of your brand new realtors. Uh, so I know that we're going to introduce everybody to Tom Deskins today. Yes, um, we've got most of our listings are out of our Paintsville office mm -hmm. today and Tom is a new agent out of our Paintsville office. I know he is excited. He's obviously uh, getting down to business quick because he's yes. got some great listings but I think that's a reminder to anybody if you have an interest in real estate please feel free to give one of our offices a call and we'd be happy to talk to you about the process because that's this is we're getting into your busy season so mm -hmm. you're always welcoming good hard-working people that want to to sell some houses absolutely <laughs> okay now let's talk about speaking of selling houses let's try to sell five houses today let's do it all right the first one we're going to talk about is actually at Hager Hill on yes. Denver Branch. On Denver Branch and this one is actually the only one that's not going to be Tom's listing. This is Cliff Bennett's listing out of Paintsville and the great thing about this house is location. You're right mm -hmm. off 23 right there at the Riceville exit on 23 in Johnson County and if you're familiar with that area that means you're really close to the Dawkins Trail, you're really close to Paintsville Lake, you're right there on 23 so you're accessible to everything. It's a great area. And this one is geared for the people that like to live on the outside of their house as much as they do on the inside because this one does include 50 acres uh, and it's got fenced areas for livestock. So I know one of the notes on this one is it's great for anybody who loves horses. Yes. And it already has some set garden spots. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you like doing the gardening, if you have livestock, if you're into horses, if you just want a really big yard for the kids to play in, this would be a great listing to look at. And then inside the house, you're almost 2,500 square feet. This house was built in 2002, so mm -hmm. a fairly new build. And it is a four bedroom and two full baths. So a nice size house on the inside as well as that outside space. Right, and with almost 2,500 square feet, you know you're gonna have plenty of room on the inside of this one. So um, this is on Denver Branch at Hager Hill, so I'm sure you can do a drive-by on this one. Check out the sign in the yard. Again, this is Cliff Bennett's listing. It's listed for 247.5, so if you're interested, you can give the Paintsville office a call. Let's give that number. Okay, that number is 606-789-8119. Okay. Now moving on to the next, the rest of the listings we're going to feature are Tom Deskin's listing. Now the mm -hmm. first one uh, is a house that you can actually see in the winter time from US 23. It's at Paradise Acres. Yes, and if you're familiar with the 1428 turn right off of uh, 23 mm -hmm. um, and it kind of connects 23 and 321 so if you're familiar with that area you're right there on 1428 you'll see the sign for Paradise Acres and this is the colonial up on the hill that you cannot like you yes. said that you can kind of see the columns and that kind of stuff from down below. This one is a beautiful home um, and it's got three and a half acres so you're gonna have a huge yard. Huge yard and then this is one we can sit here for minutes and hours and talk about all the amenities that come with this house. Mm -hmm. So we'll try to hit them, but you've got almost 3,800 square feet, four bedrooms, five bathrooms. Wow. A two car attached garage, three car detached garage, security system, automatic entrance gate, you know, all these extras, this house is going to offer those. And that's, you know, on the outside, it's, it's not very often you can say, well, you've got a garage for all five of your vehicles <laughs> <laughs> or however many vehicles and all of your toys can be locked up inside at night. Now that's something you don't see very often. Something else you don't see very often on the inside is a listing that says the house has three fireplaces. When you want to go back outside, mm -hmm. you've got an in-ground pool with a retractable cover on the outside. So you're covered for every season. Well, you've got almost 4,000 square feet. So you're looking at you know, the first floor master, mm -hmm. you're looking at um, all those things that typically come in a 4,000 square foot house, all that space is going to be there. You've got a sunroom and then a lot of people are going to want to do more than a drive-by on this one to see the winding staircase. Mm -hmm. And then the really cool thing about this one, when you're looking at the pictures, pay mm -hmm. attention to everything because this one can actually be sold with or without the furniture. Wow, so you can buy everything you see in these pictures, <laughs> exactly. furniture included. So a ton of options on this home. 
uh, that's located on Paradise Acres, again, just off of US 23. It's listed for three ninety-five, three hundred ninety-five thousand. dollars Again, Tom Deskin's listing. So we gave the Paintsville office number last time. Let's give Tom's cell phone number. Okay, his number is 793-0609. And just like the rest of the realtors at Red Brenner Williams, you mm -hmm. don't mind if they call your cell phone. It's part of the job. There you go. <laughs> All right, now let's move on to uh, Route 40. This next listing of Tom's is close to the golf course on that side of Paintsville. It is. This is located on East Auction Avenue. Like you said, you're going to be on Route 40 going out towards the golf course. Mm -hmm. And this house is just has all kinds of charm. You can look at the pictures and it just oozes that charm, but you've got that kind of charm in 4,000 square feet. Yes, and then you've got lo the big windows and, mm -hmm. you know, that makes a home that's large already feel huge because when you've got all that light in there, I mean, you see houses every day. Do you, can you tell it makes a difference when you've got the big windows and all the light coming in? Absolutely, and it's really, really popular for people to actually walk in. You know, most realtors, if we get there before you do, mm -hmm. we're going to open up the blinds and we're going to open up the doors to make the rooms brighter right. and a lot more light anyway. Well, this one's going to have plenty of light whether you're, you open the doors <laughs> or not. But again, 4,000 square feet, a very spacious design. We're looking at four bedrooms, two full bathrooms with this one, uh, and it's on half an acre. Uh, on Augsher Avenue in Paintsville. So uh, this is one definitely that you're going to want to want to take a look at. And the location, if you like to play golf, if you want that city living in Paintsville, but just to be on the outside of it, not feel so much pressure to be in the city and all that. Right. Uh, I guess to be smothered sometimes. People feel that way. Uh, so you can avoid all of that by looking at this home. Absolutely. And this is one that if you want to get your own space but you also really like to entertain mm -hmm. this house actually comes with two kitchens oh, one wow. is a little bit more of an entertaining space mm -hmm. two sunrooms so just keep that in mind if you're somebody who likes to do those christmas parties or those summer grill outs this is a great entertainment house as well and then if you do have children that are, are attending school we'll mention too you're outside of the downtown area of Paintsville, but you're still in the Paintsville School District mm -hmm. as far as if you want to go to the city or anything in the Johnson County School System. So that's going to give you options if you have school aged children. Now the price on this one surprised me, 4,000 square foot home, 185,000. So under $190,000. Um, so give Tom a call or email. You can always email the realtors. Let's give his email address. Okay. His email would be tdeskins at rbnw.com. All right, now moving on to the next listing. Uh, this one's on Court Street. Actually, the next two listings are going to be very close to each other, and they're within $15,000 in price range. So mm -hmm. uh, this is probably, if you're looking for something in that price range, the next two may be one to, you could pick from these two. Exactly. And like you said, they're both on Court Street. The first one is going to be 512 Court Street. And that area in Paintsville is right off 3rd Street. Mm -hmm. You're turning up between Our Lady of the Mountain School and the Methodist Church. Um, a really popular residential area in town. And the first one is completely updated. It's an older home built in 1931, but they have gone in and completely renovated the kitchen, the bathrooms. It's got a lot of very large rooms, so a large living room, dining room. And then the great thing with this one, and I think we've got a picture of the finished basement, you wow. have that extra space that's not even really in the room count. It's not in the 2,500 square feet above grade. It's just extra space, perfect for a playroom, rec room, workout room, anything like that. Right, and that, that is awesome when you can say finished basement and it's so huge, but yet it's not included in that square footage. So it is truly bonus space that mm -hmm. you can use. And even looking at that, I guess that's the living room with the fireplace. You don't expect to see a room that large in a house that was built in the 1930s. Exactly. And then the very next picture, you don't expect mm -hmm. to see a completely renovated kitchen in a house that was built in the 1930s. No. Because that's, it's still a kitchen that offers a lot of charm, but you can tell it's been completely renovated and has all the new amenities. So you're getting the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. If you want that old house charm uh, that they have, uh, but yet you want all the new amenities. This one is great. And plus, Court Street is within walking distance of everything that downtown Paintsville has to offer. So you've got, uh, Paintsville's, you know, getting known for a lot of the arts, and you've mm -hmm. got the historic SIP theater and the coffee shops and all of that. Uh, not to mention when October rolls around and Apple Days comes, 
uh, you can walk and never have to worry about all the parking issues. Exactly. And then, you know, before we get to Apple Day, you've got all this summer weather. This mm -hmm. one does have an in-ground pool, wow. a pool house, and a sunroom off the house where you can sit in the sunroom and watch the kids play in the pool if you uh, want to, but you do have that outdoor space as well, which is great in a downtown location. Right, and in this area of Court Street, like we said, it is downtown, but it doesn't feel it. You really need to drive out that street mm -hmm. just to kind of get a feel uh, for that one. Again, this one's at 512 Court Street. The listing is 310,000, uh, and this is Tom Diskin's listing. So let's mm -hmm. give his number one more time. Okay, his number is 7930609. Okay, now let's go down the street from 512 to 714. That's the address of this next listing on Court Street. Again, another one with the in-ground pool, very similar in price, so uh, if this is your market, listen to this one as well. Absolutely. This is one that's got a little bit more of a co contemporary layout to it, while the other one was more traditional. Um, but you are looking at almost 3,500 square feet four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and then you can see in the pictures how much outdoor space that you're getting. You're getting that because it sits on almost three and a half acres in downtown Paintsville. And you can tell that we've got the picture of the in-ground pool. Of course, it's covered there, mm -hmm. which any day I'm assuming that will change. We're getting into that season. Um, but you can tell standing on the other side of that pool how big that area is. So that's just the pool is what some people have in their backyard, but you can do that when you have three and a half acres. Exactly, so you're gonna have some yard space, you're gonna have the pool, outdoor space, you mm -hmm. also have a sunroom that overlooks this, this uh, property and you have a very private backyard. They've made a point to say that, Tom made a point to say that in his description, it's a very private wooded backyard so you don't have to worry about neighbors being right there at your pool or anything else. But you can say that in the same sentence that you can say you're in downtown Paintsville. Yeah. <laughs> there are not many li not many homes, whether they're for sale or not, in downtown Paintsville that you can say you, you're, you're totally private, but yet you can walk to downtown or anything that downtown has to offer. You can with this listing. Exactly. Now with this one, you do sit up a little bit on a hill mm -hmm. off Court Street. You'll see the driveway that kind of inclines up. They've made that a little bit easier, wow. just in case of the winter. So mm -hmm. they went ahead and heated the driveway for you, so you don't have to worry about all those nasty wow. ice storms or anything else. So yes, in-ground pool and heated driveway. <laughs> so you've got the best of, of those two seasons of summer and winter. So this is one, like I said, if you're in that market, you're looking for a home, uh, you've got two listings right down the street from each other, uh, around 310000 mm -hmm. So give Tom a call. If you want to look at one, you might as well schedule both, which is something you guys do a lot. Absolutely. Um, you'll, you'll try to make the most of your day with your clients. Mm -hmm. So you'll say, hey, I know you like this one, but I've got two or three just like it. So, all right, well, we've given you five. We've introduced you to some uh, listings from a brand new realtor at Red Brown and Williams. And again, if you're interested, give them a call. Absolutely. Uh, they're always looking for new realtors. Now, I'm going to step out now because I think you're getting ready to talk about people that are looking to list their homes. Yes. Are you ready to buy your first home, but you aren't sure where to start? Buying a home can seem overwhelming, but when you go in prepared, the process is much easier to navigate. Start by finding and visiting a loan officer to get pre-approved. This meeting will hopefully give you important information to share with your realtor, including your price range and type of loan. From this point, allow your realtor to use their knowledge to pull listings that may fit your needs. I highly recommend you meet with your realtor and discuss your needs versus your wants. Not all will be met, but it's important for all parties to have an understanding of the job ahead. Once you find the home you wish to purchase, it's time to move forward with an offer, hopefully an agreement, inspections, appraisal, and the loan process. Your realtor should keep you apprised of updates and the next step in your process to buy your future home. Red Brown and Williams agents look forward to working with you through the buying process and will work hard to make the process as stress-free as possible. Thank you for watching another episode of the Red Brown and Williams Show. See you again soon.